<laughs> hey people, right. I'll draw an old school flower. Now this one's a simple one, but it's really handy because you can put this in pretty much any kind of design. This is such a great little gap, you know, gap filler. And they're really easy to customize. You know, the basic principle, do yourself a circle. Big circle, just around the outside of it. Divide this up, I usually do it in five. So, just a little line at the bottom. Line up to the side. To the side. Good to be. So roughly even about even distance apart, and then the tops are joined. You can have these kind of like curving a little bit early from the top. Of, you know, instead of going to the top of the line, just curve a little bit earlier. Go up, so out the line in the middle. Go down again and curve into it. You can do that. You can kind of bump them across. You know, you can down turn them where you can kind of come to the top, turn down. Come on the other side, and then link up over the top. Always looks cool. You can do a mixture of both. You can do like these and these. And that's the same sort of thing. You know, you can do a secondary circle around this bit. You can do lines coming through the middle, like so. Little dot above it if you want. Classic old school thing. You can do little circular bits just coming around. The centerpiece to detail it you know there's so many different ways you can do these but i'm going to put a basic principle and just explain different ways like i just showed you there i'll show you how to do the uh, leaves as well so for this one i'm going to do this type let's do the same for each one of these I might do these little overturns just there, but I'll see that other side in a sec. Grab me. Grab it. I'm going to go pretty quickly so it isn't going to be perfect. Oh, a pretty decent circle. Yeah, screw I'm going to do the. Uh, For these now. now I'm doing this one kind of old school so I'm doing all the lines the same width you know if you're doing like a near traditional you could always add like thinner line detail for this for these little bits a little bit of detail inside You can do little dots all around the edge bit here if you wanted, all around there. You know, when you're doing the uh, leaves, the basic traditional old school way is literally just line, curve line, curve line, colouring black from one side green and leaving a little highlight. That's the traditional way of doing it. And usually, I have little groups, so you do one, say two behind it, one there, maybe another one or two, say over there or something. Nothing too much, don't go too crazy with it. You can do the traditional ones like Seaman Dome Roses. Do that line in between. You can do the half black, half green. You can do that. Shade from one half going into green to the halfway line. Black into green to the edge. You know, you want them roughly about the same size if you're doing like, you know, the traditional old school ones. If you're doing new traditional, you can always do little V flicks just to the side. Like so. Just a little bit extra detail. With this one, I'm just gonna do that. Line down the centre. Just 
just like so. I've got a pencil work. So you can cut them any colour, reds, blues, browns, greens, whatever the hell you want. You can cut them right up to the tip. You can blend them out from black here, working up, which I might quickly do. Just a little hint of it. So I'm just going to do a black circle. Just come around the edge of this. And it will blend out. Into grey, it's just true mark or uh, Windsor Newton brush markers, these ones. Just progressively getting lighter and lighter. Do the same thing with water paints, pencils, it's the exact same technique. Just using a pro marker. Just gonna bring this up, leaving a little edge. Just around the outside. Like so. Black. Right, people, sorry about that. So, yeah, just colour in like one half black, just specific type. Be a bit more neat than I am, I'm being a bit quick with this. You can do them all the exact same side if you want, so you've got like a symmetry going around it, which I'm going to do. Or you can sort of like shift it so it's in the uh, perspective where the light would be. So, if you're doing a design where the light's come from the top, you'd have all the bottom ones done, black. But I quite like this because it gives a uh, rotation to it. So I'm just just got in one half solid black. Grab the green. Stronger green than that. It's better. The old school green was quite strong, so to really get an authentic old school look, you want a good strong green. So there we go, let's set colour in. And then just the last little bit. Kind of colour in the center. Yellow. And then it's gonna do these little bits orange. And then that's literally it. How to do an old school flower. Like I said, you know, it's simple but it's a perfect gap filler, you know, you can use it in any design. It's just a really helpful little flower to use. Hope you like it, check out my videos and a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.